let me show you some secrets about how we use digital twins at Loop. So most of the work Loop does is super secret and we can't show it, but we made this project ourselves so we could show you how we'd approach doing a new machine. So we have a simulated PLC running our controls code. We have an NVIDIA Omniverse digital twin. This is a machine made by our friends at AMS. It's a four axis knife grinding machine. With this setup, we can start writing software and running it against the machine before any parts hit the floor. So I'll show you the machine running a CNC program. We hit start in our Omniverse extension, and this triggers our PLC to start the CNC program. This is running TwinCat with uh, NCI CNC. So over here we can see these are the actual PLC variables being read from. You can read or write PLC variables uh, at about 20 milliseconds with our extension. I'll show you how easy it is to edit that. So the variables we picked, obviously all the axes, you can make a list of those and then tell back off bridge, these are the ones you would like to cyclically read. So really easy. I mean, we could add another variable with just one line of code. In this function, you can see us actually using those variables. So we're reading back different axes positions and then updating the positions of the model. So we, that's where we connect PLC to model. So that was running a CNC program with our state machine system called Piper. But we can also just jog the machine around a little bit. You can see this is the x-axis, and that's its position over here, being read in an Omniverse, and here it is in TwinCat. So our extension uses ADS to connect those two things together. You can also edit the CNC program on the simulated PLC. This is the one we've been running, but I could just go in here and say, change the feed rate, save, rerun it. It's that easy. This machine needed custom kinematics, and our team implemented that as a custom C++ module, and that's where all the IK math is done. Here we have parameters exposed for configuring the external tool, that's the grinding wheel, and now you can program the machine with IK, which is great. This move in particular is showing that off by pulling the cover off and seeing those two uh, table axes work together. You can either rotate or extend or retract that table by moving the motors in different ways. As for the model, this is essentially what we received from the customers, a full CAD model of the machine. Some of our initial work is just to start hiding things that aren't necessary for our visualization or might get in the way. In this model, it was operator guarding, as you saw, and coolant lines. We've tried to figure out what's important to see. And then next, we export that and rig it as a model in Omniverse. We're applying some nice materials, the color of the real machine, and even got a texture that looks like a grinding wheel. Really try to do justice to the design, uh, all the work that went into the design to make a model that looks really great. So this is often how we start a sprint at Loop. We build out a digital twin and PLC software, the initial architecture of that, and we start proving out real programs on this digital twin. And when we get to the real hardware, all we have to tell the <laughs> software is a new IP address, often that's simple as that. So we feel like this isn't a nice to have. This is a core tool for us. The sooner we start proving out the machine software, the better it's gonna be. Uh, we're really passionate about digital twins at Loop, so hit us up if you have any questions, and thanks for checking out our video.